is also one of this year's sponsors for our Happy Trails Parade. Vertec proudly serves Apple Valley. Call Vertec today and we'll take care of it. Vertec Ways. Coming up next, Apple Valley Mayor Scott Nassif. Scott Nassif is serving his fourth term as an Apple Valley Council member and his third time as mayor. As a resident since 1959, parades and community events were part of his childhood and he passed on that on to his family that he raised here as well. He's honored to be riding today as mayor of Apple Valley. Scott and his wife Susan are riding in a 1998 BMW M Roadster. Scott, say hello. Okay. Councilwoman Bob Stanton. <laughs> Councilwoman Barb Stanton is serving her second term on the Apple Valley Town Council and has served as mayor twice. She's the first woman to do so. And about this parade, she says, I'm so proud to be back again. The village is the heart of our town and shouldn't be, shouldn't be such a hidden gem. It's great to see so many people fulfilling the streets of this great area of Apple Valley. Barb Stanton, ladies and gentlemen. She's driving a Mercedes, or riding in a Mercedes driven by Apple Valley's interim town manager, Lori Lampson. Hi, Lori. Hi, Barb Stanton. Coming up next, Apple Valley Town Councilman Larry Kuzak. Larry is serving his second term on the Apple Valley Town Council, born and raised here in Apple Valley, and a member of the Village Property Owners Association. He is keenly aware of great, the great history of the village, and he is glad the parade has returned to its streets as an annual event. Larry is riding in a Jeep driven by Apple Valley's Director of Public Works, Greg Snyder. It's his weekend vehicle too.
gentlemen, PCN cheer and tumbling. Like it might be out of sync, but that's okay. We'll read it anyway. It's a dancer's point. A dancer's point. Students are excited to perform for you today. A dancer's point has been a business in Apple Valley for over 20 years. Come in and learn ballet, tap, hip hop, and even music in our new music room. They have a great, great group of dancers at a dancer's point. Following them, a 1934 Model A Sport Coupe. From the Messenger family. Messenger is our driver, or excuse me, Phil Messenger is our driver today. As a member of the Paradise Valley Ford Model A Club of San Bernardino, their goal is to preserve and enjoy the Model A through parades, car shows, and everyday use by teaching younger people <coughs> about the history of the Model A's. They were built by Henry Ford and manufactured from 1928 to 1931. It's the Messenger family. Look at there, it's Tony and Kona Ice! Wow! Pull over, Tony, and serve us up some Kona Ice. The 2017 Apple Valley Village Property and Business Improvement District Happy Trails Parade. It's the Apple Valley Shriner Club. Apple Valley Shriner Club. Started in 1954. The first of the Valley of California, the Los Angeles, California area. The Apple Valley Mini Car Parade Unit was formed in 1980 and been active in the parade for all over the high vision. What did you know as well as that? The purpose of the California Avenue Shrine Club is to the main Hard driver magazine. Children with orphan and people problems are treated free of charge. The hospital is in the a building department. The Shriners also have bird centers. And the Shriner Masons. The Jonah Shriners. You know of a child that needs help? It's called the Apple Valley Shriners. Preparatory School. 
Please welcome the for three Freeland Italian. The California Cadet Corps was founded on April 5th, 1911, and is the oldest school-based leadership program of its kind in the United States. The program strives to develop leadership, citizenship, and patriotic spirit, fitness, and personal health, and wellness. California Cadet Corps, Riverside Preparatory School. Let's hear it for them. Coming up next, the Apple Valley Communication Band. Apple Valley Communications is a low voltage system integrator established in 1956. They service all of California and some areas of Arizona with over 70 employees. They have the manpower for any project and scope of work. Technicians are factory trained, certified, and provide continuous education within their field. Although their business is large, they are known for their personal touch. They evaluate your needs and create a solution to serve the needs of your business. They also serve a homeowner with home security and 24 7 monitoring. Give them a call to visit your location, Apple Valley Communications. Up next is the High Desert Premier Academy. High Desert Premier Academy is Apple Valley's alternative education center. They offer independent study for kindergarten through 12th grade. They also offer a classroom-based program for grades 6 to 12. Students benefit from small classes, caring staff, and the opportunity to learn at home or at school. For more information, visit their website at avusd.org. High Desert Premier Academy, Apple Valley. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the Apple Valley Rattlers Youth Football and Cheer Team. 43 years of pride and tradition in the town of Apple Valley. They are the original orange, black, and white. They are Apple Valley. And the cheerleaders are Bailey Burton. Alyssa Gregos, Alyssa Dugan, Haley Gretzler, Ayana Jaimez, Haley Jaimez, May Lynn Jaimez, Lily Martell, Ronnie Martinez, Mariana Pacheco, Kelly Pierce, Harmony Powell, Lily Cavenzo, Theodore Robinson, Isabel Smith, Serena Sierra, Kenya Sidney, Marlon Williams, Phelan Williams, Jocelyn Williams, and Samurai Williams. Coaches are Deanne Laws, Israel Williams, Genesis Crafton, Ashley Powell, Erica Getzner, Emily Mullins, and Brenda Gorham. They are the Apple Valley Rattlers. All right, our first equestrian entry of the Apple Valley Happy Days, Happy Trails, excuse me, Happy Trails Parade. It's Debbie Thompson and Deborah Swain. Debbie Thompson and Deborah Swain have been friends for 20 years. They have resided in Apple Valley for more than two years, and they are currently volunteers for the San Bernardino Sheriff Mounted Unit and the City of Chino Police Department. Mounted Police, I should say. Debbie is riding Buddy a golden palomino, and Deborah is riding a whiskey, a silver apple. Debbie Thompson, Deborah Swain, beautiful horses. Up behind them, the Mojave Historical Society, established in 1964. They strive to preserve the history of the Victor Valley and surrounding areas. The organization has monthly meetings with interested in local speakers and leads periodic field trips. And a number of follow-up presentations. 
thank you to the parade committee, Apple Valley Mayor Scott Masson, from Hit Plumbing, Chris Hit, Apple Valley Town Council member Larry Kuzak, from the Town of Apple Valley Public Relations, Kenneth Mitchell, Jeff Stockton and Don McCarthy as a uh, group 103, Angelique Johnson from Signature Events. Services, Cheer Realty, Scooby-Doo, and the rest of the gang would like to invite everyone out to Civic Park for a fantastic Halloween. It's a Halloween party at the 12th Annual Paws and Claws Pet Fair to be held Saturday, October 21st from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. This event is free admission, free parking, and pet friendly. The shelter will be bringing out dogs looking for forever homes along with having vendors, an art contest, dog licensing, and a lot more. Mark your calendars so you don't miss out on this howling good time, Apple Valley Animal Services. Let's hear it for them. Supervisor San Bernardino County First District Supervisor Robert Lovingood, ladies and gentlemen. Robert Lovingood is honored to have writing as his guest today, Mr. Roberto Brand. Mr. Brand is the founder and president of Telexca Inc., located right here in the Apple Valley Village. Telexca is a proud American company that specializes in the production and tooling of high demand components used for the aerospace industry. They can build any size piece utilizing a specialized process that Mr. Brand has developed during his more than 40 years working within the aircraft aerospace industry. First District Supervisor Robert Lovingood is proud of the work Mr. Brand creates right here in the town of Apple Valley 
and thanks to Mr. Brand for his commitment to excellence in the County of San Bernardino. Say hello to First District Supervisor Robert Lovingood. Next up, Apple Valley High School. Yeah. Apple Valley High School Junior ROTC. The Apple Valley High School Junior ROTC cadets is with their color guard team. They are accompanied by senior aerospace science instructor, Lieutenant Colonel Todd Pennington, and the aerospace science instructor, technical sergeant, Jason Calvin. The unit was founded in 2001 and has approximately 100 cadets that participate in the program. The mission of the Air Force Junior ROTC is to build better citizens of America. The Apple Valley High School Junior ROTC. Established in 1955 to support the community and the children of Apple Valley. They've been doing so for over 60 years now. Representing the Apple Valley Kiwanis Club are Cindy, Wanda, Janice, Beverly, John, and Stephen from the Apple Valley Kiwanis Club. history. They are representing their school's most recent athletic accomplishments by running short plays. 2016 Agape League Girls Varsity Basketball Tri-Champions, 2017 Boys Basketball Agape League MVP Josh Berry, 2017 Rick Beverlson Awards America Messner and Breda Spidell, 2017 Agape League Boys Basketball Undefeated Champions behind the football team we have the middle school and high school drama class acting out a skit based on Joan and the Whale. Thank you, ABC Warriors, for coming out today. Apple Valley Christian School football team and drama class. Here comes Paw, Paw Prince Dog Club. Paw Prince Dog Club is located in Southern California's Victor Valley. Comprising of Adelanto, Apple Valley, Asperia, Phelan, and Victorville, they are a supportive group of people who really love their all-American mixed breeds as well as two breed dogs. Members of their dog club aspire to learn more about their pets and participate in many activities with them. Paw Prince Dog Club.
Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the Briley family. Leading the family clan is Christy the Rat Trike. Built by her and her grandfather. Next is Sean with his tractor pulling motorhead. Built by his grandfather. Pulling up the rear his freaking truck. My grandpa Pearl. Chris, Grandpa Chris. Get on the bus. Oh, it's the Victor Valley Transit Authority. In today's parade, the Victor Valley Transit Authority NTC commuter. The commuter route features the ultra plush NC1 J4500. The 45 foot coach boasts commuter class amenities such as reclining seats, powered electrical outlets, free Wi Fi, and an onboard restroom. Driven by Supervisor Jonathan McDowell, the 2015 coach is able to pull the hills with ease. Victor Valley Transit Authority service area spans 1,000 square miles across California high desert from Fontana and San Bernardino to the Arizona border. Victor Valley Transit Authority offers ADA paratransit, partnerships with area nonprofits, car share, and commuter and pool service. It's Victor Valley Transit Authority. Coming up next, the California School Nutrition Association, Chapter 44, as part of the 2017 Happy Trails Parade, here they come. These are your local lunch ladies. Representing chapter number 44 of the California School Nutrition Association, they promote healthy eating habits to all the families of the high desert, provide nutrition education to their families and their staff, and are committed to the well-being of their students. They work and serve the community every day at sites throughout the high desert. They are your lunch ladies. California School Nutrition Association, Nutrition Association, Chapter 44. Coming up next, the California... 
to the Apple Valley Moose Lodge, number 1810. Driving a 1946 Jeep Willie, driven by Ken Spray, administrator of the Apple Valley Moose Lodge. The Moose is a fraternal organization dedicated to caring for at-risk children at Moose Heart, located in Moose Heart, Illinois, and seniors at Moose Haven in Orange Park, Florida. Additionally, the Lodge is very active in charitable assistance of organizations right here in the Apple Valley area. There goes the Apple Valley Moose Lodge. See him coming. Look out, here comes City Bull Academy Bears and Vanguard Preparatory School Falcons. Here they come, let's make some noise for Sitting Bull Academy Bears and Vanguard, Vanguard Preparatory School Falcons. The Mighty Bears and the Fighting Falcons, marching bands and banner carriers. Both schools are planning on making this an annual event. Their band's director is Andrew Tovarubius. They're gonna play something for us, here they go. Elementary, the Willy Wonka kids. These are the fourth, fifth, and sixth graders from Sycamore Rocks Elementary. Every year they do a musical, and this year they are doing Willy Wonka kids. They practice every week for six months. Performances are held in March, and they are amazing. I hope to see you all there. Sycamore Rocks Elementary, let's hear it for them.
Fair Youth Arts Department, I apologize. How the West is won. Youngsters aged 12, 2 to 17 are invited to participate in the 2018 County Fair. Showcase your skills, making, crafting, art, and much more. If you make it, we will take it. Remember the San Bernardino County Fair welcomes our youth. San Bernardino County Fair Youth Exhibit. How the West is won. Now it's time for Granite Hill's mighty Superman Band and Color Guard. Sure. I'm here for a sure ride. 